Let's take a look at problem number 4-2. It says a baseball is hit at ground level. The ball is observed to reach its maximum height above the ground 3 seconds after being hit. And 2.5 seconds after reaching this maximum height, the ball is observed to barely clear a fence that is 97.5 meters from where it was hit. How high is the fence? So we're going to launch this from ground level with some initial velocity and at some angle. And it's going to reach the apex after three seconds. So three seconds to that point. And then it's going to continue along this parabola and cross a fence at a later time which will be 5.5 seconds because that will be two and a half seconds after it reached the apex highest point. So it will be 3 plus 2.5. And this total distance to the fence displacement is given as 97.5 meters. Okay, really what we're really concerned here is what's happening in the y direction. Because the y direction we've got information that after three seconds we're at the, the pinnacle, the apex, and then after five and a half seconds we're at, the, we're at some height of the fence. So let's just look at the y direction only. And let's look at the first kinematic problem. We know that, that we're going to go up with some initial velocity in the y direction. We're going to hit some final velocity, which actually would be zero. Our acceleration is the acceleration of gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Negative because we're defining up as positive. And um, what else do we know? Uh, Time is three seconds to that point, and we wish to find out what this initial velocity is. So now we've got four kinematic variables, three of them known. We can solve this using kinematic equation number one. Our final velocity will equal our initial velocity plus acceleration times time. In this case, the final velocity is zero, so we have our initial velocity will equal a negative acceleration times time. That's going to be a negative negative 9.8 times 3 or 29.4 meters per second. That is our initial velocity in the y direction. We don't know what our initial velocity is in the x direction, but we don't need to know that actually. We're just looking at the y direction and still looking at the y direction, let's think about the new kinematic problem. Where's the ball going to be when it reaches the fence? Well, we now know that kinematic problem from the start. We know our initial velocity in the y direction is 29.4 meters per second. We know that the acceleration of gravity is a negative 9.8 meters per second squared because we're still assuming up is positive. And we know that the time to the fence is five and a half seconds. So we have three kinematic variables, and now we just want to know what is the displacement at that time. So we really can do this as a strictly a y direction displacement problem. Displacement at that time, and we're looking at this fence as our displacement. Displacement at that time is going to be equal to our initial velocity in the y direction times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. That's going to be 29.4 times 5.5 .5 seconds plus one half times a negative 9.8 times 5.5 .5 seconds squared. So if I do this on the calculator, 29.4 times 5.5 is 161.7. And then I'm going to have um, a negative 4.9 
times 5.5 squared is minus 148.2 and this gives me thirteen point five meters so that's how high the uh, the fence is because um, that's where the ball is after five point five seconds so we didn't even have to look at the x direction and this problem the information that our displacement was 97.5 meters from home plate was extraneous it was not needed very very rare that that happens in one of these problems that they actually give you too much information now if we actually want to find out what the x velocity was we could use this time 5.5 seconds work our way back with this displacement knowing that displacement should equal our our x velocity times times time and we can find the velocity in the x direction but we didn't have to do that so for this particular problem that was extraneous information so our answer is C 13.4 meters